Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the talking about interest cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to talk about your hobbies, how often you do them, and much more. Second, 10 phrases you need for introducing yourself. If you're new to the language and can't yet introduce yourself, then this one minute lesson is for you. Third, how to say hello like a native speaker. This quick lesson will teach you 15 unique ways to say hello and greet others. Fourth, most common ways to say goodbye. What about saying bye? Do you know all the ways to say bye in your target language? This one minute lesson will get them stuck in your head, guaranteed. Fifth, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF workbook, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, how are you? And you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. And finally, our big collection of language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Herkese merhaba. Ben Seda. Hoş geldiniz. Welcome to Turkish Class 101. Come. Nasılsınız? Today, today we will talk about family culture in Turkish. Fem, fem, fem. Aile kültürü. Okay. Uh, first, uh, today I will start a little, a little differently. Before talking about uh, the culture, I will give you some idioms, some sentences about family to give you a gist of how we perceive family. Okay? Etle tırnak ayrılmaz. Etle tırnak ayrılmaz. You cannot separate nay and karakal. This means like siblings are like nail and cuticles and it doesn't matter how hard they are they fight, they are destined to be together. Another one, cennet anaların ayakları altındadır. Cennet anaların ayakları altındadır. Heaven is under the feet of mothers. This glorifies motherhood, as you can guess. Another one, this is an interesting one. Let me check. Baş kırılır, börk içinde kalır. Kol kırılır, yen içinde kalır. Baş kırılır, börk içinde. Kol kırılır, yen içinde. Uh, this is a little harder to translate. It means when you have a problem in the family, you don't talk about it outside the family. It's like a mafia in Italian movies. Anyway. It literally means if you break your head, it stays in the you know Turkic traditional head, and if you break your arm, it stays in the fur, so nobody sees it that you break, you broke somewhere. As you can see, it is from nomadic Turkish times. Now people only say kol kırılır, yan içinde kalır, and I don't think a lot of Turkish people know what yan and berk is these are not regular daily life vocabulary burk is a traditional turkish hat turkic hat from the before the times before the ottoman times actually and yan is a coat made of animal fur while they were hunting and blah blah blah and i think these were you know uh, these were to give you an idea of turkish traditional Turkish family matters. I will explain further. However, I have to say these will be generalizations. Everybody is different and there are all kinds of families out there. We have 80 million people living in this country and with modern life, I think all family families around the world look very similar to each other, like having less kids, commuting between work and home, dealing with modern day life, adapting animals, living in smaller apartments and so on. Okay, now let's start. Yasa, low. Ya, sa, yasa. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti anayasasına göre aile Türk toplumunun temelidir. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti 
anayasasına göre aile Türk toplumunun temelidir ve eşler arasında eşitliğe dayanır. Ve eşler arasında eşitliğe dayanır. According to the Constitution of Republic of Turkey, the family is the foundation of Turkish society and is based on equality between spouses. The civil law got updated years ago about equality between spouses. Before this update, the husband was seen as the head of the household. But right now, both spouses are equal in every aspect of marriage legally. Türk Aile yapısı Turkish family structure Türk aile yapısı For Turkish people, family is still the most important social institution. Although divorce rates are getting higher and higher, traditional family structure are still the basis of society. <coughs> Sorry. In rural areas, large families are more common When I, what I mean is like families are more crowded with more kids and aunts, uncles, grandparents all living together. But in big cities, generally families are made of like kids and parents. Okay. Saygı. Respect. Saygı. There's a series, Turkish series called Saygı. Aile büyüklerine saygı Türkler için çok önemlidir. Aile büyüklerine saygı Türkler için çok önemlidir. Respect to elders are very important to Turkish people. Married couples move out to start their own families in their separate houses in big cities especially. But they do take care of their parents in old age. Old age houses, yaşlı bakım evleri, yaşlı bakım evleri, They are not very common in Turkey. We have some, of course, but generally families take care of each other through thick and thin. And this is actually both ways. Parents of young adults also help out the new couple, sometimes by cooking for them, cleaning for them, taking care of grandchildren, even helping out with money and other stuff. I mean, in general, family uh, bonds are very uh, strong and always there, and moving out doesn't change much. Okay, the next title is Ailedeki Roller, Roles of Family Members. Ailedeki Roller. Generally, the family lives close to each other, and that's how they help each other out. And although the traditional families, uh, there are gender-based roles, in younger generations, these roles fade away. In younger generations, both men and women work so that they earn their own money. And they spend it together, they raise their kids together. And all the, it's much more equal from the previous generations, taking care of the kids and the house is generally on the woman. And sometimes even Though the woman also has a full-time job, she also takes care of the house, takes care of the house and the children. So there is a long way to accomplish full equality between genders in real life. And in more traditional families, the husband is based uh, is the breadwinning uh, member of the home, and while the woman takes care of the household and the children. And in most traditional houses, even the girls in the family are treated different than the boys, where boys have more freedom. As I said before, modern lifetimes has made changes in traditional family culture. Women participate more in economic activities outside the home. But unfortunately, as I stated before, this has had, you know, added extra burden on the woman. And not all men helps out with the domestic chores, so women has to do it all. Hopefully this will get better in the future with each new generation. Bayramlar, seyramlar, feasts. We talked about this before. Even though we have different religions in Turkey, most people are Muslim and religious Muslim holidays are 
celebrated very similar. We have two religious holidays, Bayrams, Ramazan, and Kurban. Although there are differences in celebration of these festivals, you know, religiously, culturally, they are celebrated very, very similar, I think, in every home, with a huge Bayram meal, visiting relatives, visiting parents, visiting grandparents, and enjoying each other's company. Akrabalar, relatives. Turkish people are very into relatives. I don't know how to explain this, but we have lots and lots of relatives, cousins and cousins and cousins, and all relatives from both sides, the fathers and the mothers, are considered as part of the family. And it's not uncommon to have like dozens of uncles, aunts, cousins all together. And uh, let me give you some vocabulary on the family members. Cousin, cousin, cousin, cousin. Kuzenimi çok seviyorum. I love my cousin very much. Kuzenimi çok seviyorum. Kuzenimi çok seviyorum. Amca. Amca. Paternal uncle. We have different uncles. Paternal, maternal. Paternal uncle, amca. Amcam babamdan kısa. My paternal uncle is shorter than, shorter than my father. Amcam, babamdan kısa. Dayı, maternal uncle. Dayı, dayı. Benim dayım yok. I don't have a maternal uncle. Benim dayım yok. Teyze, maternal aunt. Teyze, teyze anne yarısıdır. Maternal, <laughs> maternal aunt is half of a mother. Teyze, anne, yarısıdır. This is actually an idiom, by the way. It's, uh, people say this. Teyze, annenin yarısıdır. Hala. Paternal aunt. Hala. Ha, la. Hala. Hala, Amerika'dan geliyor. My paternal aunt is coming from US. Halam, Amerika'dan geliyor. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, um, this one is sometimes weird to people from Western world, but display of affection between family members is very common. We are like touchy people, we hug, we kiss, we ask, we question and like Turkish people can be found too much involved and we love to ask about family even in business meetings. So don't feel weird if you are like talking business with a Turkish person and get asked about your spouse or you know kids or parents even and you can get asked if you think about marrying or having kids or about your parents and this is normal talking about family is like a conversation starter for us so don't get offended or something like that just answer as much as you want okay food food good food yemek yemek yemek food is part of our culture most i think most of the cultures but even the food culture is maybe a little different than the western uh, countries a little uh, even in younger generations uh, cooking at home is very common we love home cooked meals and we are ready to prepare it if a newly couple is very busy working outside home their parents can help out with the cooking of course eating out uh, or ordering in is an option and but it's more like a you know a special occasion than a daily regular activity this is not the way we eat generally as I said before, these are generalizations, but mostly true. Okay, I'm done for now. We have different videos about weddings, funerals, holidays, food and stuff. And you can get the idea of Turkish society by watching them all. So what do you think? Which parts are similar to your culture or very different than yours? And tell your nationality and write about your own culture in the comments. I love seeing comments from all over the world. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Görüşmek üzere, hoşça kalın. Kendinize iyi bakın. Ben Seda. Welcome to Turkish Class 101.com. Nasılsınız? Keyfiniz yerinde mi? Today we will talk about 10 street foods in Turkey. Yummy! I have another video about uh, where I talk about Turkish food. You can check it out in the channel. But today we will be, we will be focusing on the street food only. Okay? We are as a country in the middle of Balkans, Mediterranean and the Middle East. So we have a uh, how should I put it, variety of uh, cultural impact and this affects our food culture as well. And Turkey is also surrounded by sea um, on three sides, <laughs> three sides. So it's almost like a island. It also affects a variety of food. And today uh, we have ten food and there's no, no order in my list. Some of them are cooked meals, some of, some of them are like snacks, but the common thing is they can be all found in the streets. Okay, let's start. Number one, midye dolma or midye tava. Uh, actually, these are two different things, both made of the same seafood mussels. Midye dolma is stuffed mussel and midye tava is deep fried and deep fried mussel and midye dolma is served in the shell i'm not sure how it is actually made but there there are certain herbs with cooked rice and and mixed with some herbs i think they put it in the mussel and they close the shell and clean it and prepare it and put it back with the herbs and rice, something like that. I'm not sure. And uh, then they close the shell and right before you eat it, you open the shell and you use the shell as a spoon. I think as, and you put a lot of lemons on it and I think the acid in the lemon cooks it. And media tawa is pre-cooked. Tawa actually means pan. The pan you cook stuff in it. And again, I'm not sure the exact recipe, but they cover the mussel with some kind of flour before deep frying it. And they put mussels in a stick and it's like a shish kebab and they fry it with the sticks and they serve it with a special sauce called taratash sosu. And you dip the mussels in the sauce and eat it. Love it. I don't like midye uh, dolma thing, but I love midye tawa a lot. Midye dolma is too raw for my taste. And since it is a seafood, you wouldn't find this, uh, you would find this in the seasides of Turkey, not in the, you know, uh, cities deep in the country. Like, I don't know if in Ankara, for example, they sell media tava or media dolma. Anyway, let's move on. Number two is nohutlu pilav. Nohutlu pilav. Rice with chickpeas. This street food always makes me laugh because it is so, you know, home cooked kind of a meal and a regular home meal. I mean, the ingredients are cheap, it's filling and loved by so many people. So someone thought, mm, you know, why not turn this into a street food business? And it worked actually. <laughs> and the funny thing, you would see these in the carts, like small food carts and uh, windows in the carts and Google Nohut Pilav Arabası and you will see what I mean. And the pilav is, pilav is generally at the bottom and the chickpeas uh, are on the top of, and they serve it with a you know, plastic plate or something. And you eat it at the side of the road, generally standing up. And I point this out because it's like a regular family meal, but you eat it in the street like this. <laughs> and the third one is our famous, famous, famous simit. And I think this is the most common street food of all. And it is called Gevrek. Gevrek in Izmir area. It's like a bagel that I can say everybody loves in Turkey. I haven't literally met one person who ever said, no, no, pass, I don't like cement. Never heard of it. 
and I will give you guys a link for a recipe here if you want to make it yourself and it's made with dough and grape molasses and crunchy sesame seeds you can buy it anywhere in Turkey but I don't know uh, anywhere else and if you ever visit Istanbul you'll definitely see people throwing cement to the seagulls in the ferries even seagulls love the cement you know <laughs> and number four four four four is donash donah I think this is famous and known to a lot of people because the night kebab is all over the world and it's made with meat generally red meat but now they are making it with uh, chicken as well and it is cut and put it vertically on a stick and donar meat is put you know in a special donar bread and pickles and stuff they put in it and it's so good actually and so fast because it's pre-cooked and when I was a kid, there were, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, those kind of restaurants was so new. And the Amer I mean, the American uh, fast food restaurants. And I, it always surprises me how those kind of restaurants made it to Turkey, you know, where we have faster and tastier Jonar stores everywhere and tons of different meatball stores like Köfte. I don't get it. Anyway, let's see what is next. Number five is Kestane Kebab chestnut kebab it's not a kebab <laughs> we just call it kestane kebab and we have a saying kestane kebab yemesi sevap kestane kebab yemesi sevap it's like chestnut kebab to eat it is to do good deeds and it doesn't make any sense in english <laughs> uh, this is a simple but most delish snack during winter time they have again some kind of cart and a, some kind of grill to, on the cart and they get the raw chestnuts and they cut it not cut but like scar it on the shell and they cook it on the grill and that's it it cooks and they put it in a paper bag and give it to you and you just hold it in your hand like this especially during cold days it's so nice to hold the you know hold the warm uh, bag in your hands and eat the chestnut while walking you should try it and the next one number six right number six is toast uh, grilled cheese sandwich uh, this is one of the most famous food in Turkey it's one of the easiest I can say uh, you just put cheese uh, or different things between two pieces of bread and toast it and add some butter and toast it and voila it's ready and there are different kinds of toasts in Turkey we have kaşarlı toast regular cheese çift kaşarlı toast like double cheese toast and bel peynirli domatesli with feta cheese and tomatoes sucuklu toast sucuk is something meaty Turkish meat some kind of Turkish meat I will toast toast too. it's mixed with a lot of things you should check it out in good you can just google it i will look tostu and you eat these with either ayra yogurt drink or like ince belli bardakta çay a tea in a you know regular uh, turkish glass okay uh, now we got to the number seven <laughs> Number seven is something I cannot eat actually, but very famous and loved by many. It is kokoreç. Kokoreç. It is made of lamb intestine. Kuzu bağırsağı. It looks like a side donor when they are cooking it. They put a lot of herbs to kill the intestine taste and cook it like a donor thing and cut it in small pieces and in they put it in bread and voila it's a sandwich it's too much for me but if you're up to it you should know that it's one of the most famous street food in turkey let's move on to the next one number eight balık ekmek literally fish and bread but fish sandwich uh, this is especially common in the seaside uh, area mostly in Eminönü, istanbul Eminönü is in the old, is the old city where all the touristic things are going on and the fish that is used in this dish is generally mackerel I think that's how you say it I don't know uskumru 
in Turkish and they add some green onions and some greens and fish and bread that's it it's simple enough to enjoy the seaside and the next one our number nine <laughs> is börek uh, it's something that you cannot just translate it it's like a patty something like a patty we have different types varieties of Turkish börek it is always accessible it can be made with veggies mincemeat cheese and they sell it them in the carts in the streets or in restaurants pet series and everywhere you can find burlek and our number 10 is kumpish uh, something like a baked potato type of a baked potato uh, the dish is especially famous in Ortaköy Istanbul but can be found in anywhere they get these huge potatoes and they put them in the ovens and cook it but they have kind of a salad bar you choose ingredients from that salad bar then when the potato is ready they just cut open it and uh, mix it with a butter and cheese the inside of the potato and make a hole and you choose the ingredients from the salad bar and they add it on in and after that on top of the potato and you eat it with a spoon it goes on like this it becomes a huge thing and that's it that was our top 10 list and i can say one extra um, street food um, chi köfte it's raw meatball uh, it's also a good street food it is called raw meatball because it is made with raw minced meat but now it's a little different you have to be a restaurant to serve a raw meat because it's not sanitary and safe to make it on the streets and it's not easy to keep uh, so it's not raw of course it's just cooked with herbs and onions or in other words it's cooked by acid instead of heat anyway since it's not allowed to sell the uncooked meat uh, in the street they sell the vegan version of it instead of meat they substitute it with the uh, wheat bul bulgur wheat and it interestingly tastes the same yeah i mean i don't you know uh, catch the difference so i guess that's it guys we have a lot of <laughs> street foods and hope you enjoy the lesson and please leave some comments have you ever tasted these street foods do you like them did you like them or you can also make this home you can just search for the recipes and i'm sure you will find a lot of recipes uh, in turkish and you would you know uh, you would uh, how should i say you would it would be a good practice to for your turkish to find turkish recipes and cook them okay i will see you next time görüşmek üzere hoşça kalın Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant. Burası gerçekten birinci sınıf bir restaurant. This is really a first class restaurant. Burası gerçekten birinci sınıf bir restaurant. Cafe. Cafe. Cafe. Cafe. Cafe. Bu kafeyi deney deneyelim mi? Daha yeni açıldı. Shall we try this cafe? It's just opened. Bu kafeyi deneyelim mi? Daha yeni açıldı. Pastane. Vegetarian. Pastane. Pas ta ne. Patisseri. Pastaneye uğrayalım mı? Shall we stop by a patisseri? Pastaneye uğrayalım mı? Bar. Bar. Bar. Bar. 
Bar. Bu barı seviyorum. I like this bar. Bu barı seviyorum. Mobilya. Furniture. Mo bi ya. Mobilya. Furniture. Yangından sonra bütün mobilyalarımızı yenilemek zorunda kaldık. We had to replace all of our furniture after the fire. Yangından sonra bütün mobilyalarımızı yenilemek zorunda kaldık. Çimen Grass Çimen Çimen Grass Yaban domuzları çimen yiyor. The wild boars are chewing the grass. Yaban domuzları çimen yiyor. Toprak. Soil. Toprak. Toprak. Soil. Toprak kuraklık yüzünden çatladı. The soil crack. Göçü de durak. Toprak kuraklık yüzünden çatladı. Çamur. Dört. Çamur. Çamur. Dört. Bebek fil hayvanat bahçesinde çamurla oynuyor. The baby elephant is playing with dirt in the zoo. Bebek fil hayvanat bahçesinde çamurla oynuyor. Kaya. Rock. Kaya. Kaya. Rock. Peri bacalarına oyulmuş olan kaya kiliseleri çok ilginçtir. The rock churches carved into the fairy chimneys are very interesting. Peri bacalarına oyulmuş olan kaya kiliseleri çok ilginçtir. Arch Tree Arch A Arch Tree Bahçede sekiz ağaç var. There are eight trees in the garden. Bahçede sekiz ağaç var. Taoizm Taoizm Taoizm Taoizm Taoizm Taoizm ayrıca Daoizm olarak da bilinir. Taoizm also known as Daoizm. Taoizm ayrıca Daoizm olarak da bilinir. Kitab-ı Mukaddes Bible Kitab-ı Mukaddes Kitab-ı Mukaddes Bible Kitab-ı Mukaddes, uygarlık tarihinin en çok satan kitabıdır. The Bible is the best-selling book in the history of civilization. Kitab-ı Mukaddes, uygarlık tarihinin en çok satan kitabıdır. Kur'an Kur'an Kur'an Kur'an Kur'an Kur'an, Müslümanların kutsal kitabıdır. The Kur'an is the holy book of the Muslim religion. Kur'an, Müslümanların kutsal kitabıdır. Rahip, priest, rahip, rahip, 
Christ. Rahipten tavsiye aldı. He got advice from a priest. Rahipten tavsiye aldı. Yahudilik. Judaism. Yahudilik. Ya hu di lik. Judaism. Yahudilik 3000 yıldan fazla bir zamandır mevcut. Judaism has been practiced over for over 3000 years. Yahudilik 3000 yıldan fazla bir zamandır mevcut. Bin. 1000. Bin. Bin. 1000. Bu kilise bin yıl önce kurulmuştu. This church was built 1000 years ago. Bu kilise bin yıl önce kurulmuştu. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000 dolar tutuyor. It costs 2000 dollars. 2000 dolar tutuyor. 8000. 8000. 8000. 8000. 8000. O kasabada 8000 insan yaşıyor. 8000 people live in that village. O kasabada 8000 insan yaşıyor. 10000 10000 10 bin 10 bin 10000 Kasabanın nüfusu 10 bin. The population of the town is 10,000. Kasabanın nüfusu 10 bin. 4 bin. 4,000. 4 bin. 4 bin. 4,000. Stadyum 4000 metrekare. Stadyum is 4000 square meters. Stadyum 4000 metrekare. Ev sahibi. Landlord. Ev sahibi. Ev sahibi. Landlord. Kardeşimin ev sahibi çek kabul etmeyecektir. My brother's landlord will not accept a check. Kardeşimin ev sahibi çek kabul etmeyecektir. Yurt. Dormitory. Yurt. Yurt. Dormitory. Kolejdeyken 4 yıl boyunca yurtta kaldım. I lived in dormitory for all four years of college. Kolejdeyken 4 yıl boyunca yurtta kaldım. Apartman binası. Apartment building. Apartman binası. Apartman binası. Apartment building. Bu apartman binasında 24 daire var. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. Bu apartman binasında 24 daire var. Şehir City Şehir Şehir City Bergama eski çağlarda önemli bir şehir merkeziydi. 
Pergamon was an important city center during ancient times. Bergama, eski çağlarda önemli bir şehir merkeziydi. Tarla, farm, tarla, tarla, farm. Keçiler tarlada oynuyorlar. The goats are playing on the farm. Keçiler tarlada oynuyorlar. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami şehri vurdu. The tsunami hit the city. Tsunami şehri vurdu. Ç. Avalanche. Ç. Ç. Avalanche. Ç. Kayak merkezini yok etti ama neyse ki kimse yaralanmadı. The avalanche destroyed the ski resort but luckily nobody was hurt. Ç. Kayak merkezini yok etti ama neyse ki kimse yaralanmadı. Yangın. Fire. Yangın. Yan. Gın. Fire. Dün gece caddenin karşısındaki binada yangın vardı. Last night, there was a fire in the building across the street. Dün gece caddenin karşısındaki binada yangın vardı. Deprem. Earthquake. Deprem. Deprem. Earthquake. Deprem yüzünden acil durum ilan edildi. A state of emergency was announced due to the earthquake. Deprem yüzünden acil durum ilan edildi. Kum fırtınası. Sandstorm. Kum fırtınası. Kum fırtınası. Sandstorm. Kum fırtınası durdu. The sandstorm has touched down. Kum fırtınası durdu. Eldiven. Glow. Eldiven. El, di, ven. Glow. Lütfen eldivenleri giy. Please put on gloves. Lütfen eldivenleri giy. Şemsiye. Umbrella. Şemsiye. Şem, si, ye. Umbrella. Benim bir şemsiyem yok ve yağmur yağıyor. I don't have an umbrella and it's raining. Benim bir şemsiyem yok ve yağmur yağıyor. Şapka. Hat. Şapka. Şapka. Hat. Kırmızı bir flar o şapka ile iyi görünür. A red scarf would look nice with that hat. Kırmızı bir flar o şapka ile iyi görünür. Uzun kollu. Long sleeve. Uzun kollu. Uzun kollu. Long sleeve. Uzun kollu gömlekler soğuk havalar için iyi. Long sleeve shirts are good for cold weather. Uzun kollu gömlekler soğuk havalar için iyi. Kısa kollu. Short sleeve. Kısa kollu. Kısa 
Paul, L, short sleeve. Kısa kollu tişörtler hava ılıkken daha iyidir. Short sleeve shirts are better when it's warm. Kısa kollu tişörtler hava ılıkken daha iyidir. Ağrılı. Painful. Ağrılı. Ağrılı. Painful. Deniz anası ısırı çok ağrılıdır. Jellyfish sting is very pain- painful. Deniz anası ısırı çok ağrılıdır. Utangaç. Shy. Utangaç. U tan gaç. Shy. Ben utangacım. I am shy. Ben utangacım. Gergin. Nervous. Gergin. Gergin. Nervous. Yeni insanlarla tanışmak onu gergin yapıyor. Meeting new people makes him nervous. Yeni insanlarla tanışmak onu gergin yapıyor. Heyecanlı. Excited. Heyecanlı. E, ye, can, lı. Excited. Bebek heyecanlı. The baby is excited. Bebek heye canlı. Utanmak. Embarrassed. Utanmak. Utanmak. Embarrassed. Utandığında yüzüm kızarır. My face turns red when I'm embarrassed. Utandığımda yüzüm kızarır. Taşa. Country. Taşa. Taş. Ra. Country. Taşa'da büyük bir evleri var. They have a big house in the country. Taşra'da büyük bir evleri var. Köy. Village. Köy. Köy. Village. Ben küçük bir köyde büyüdüm. I grew up in a small village. Ben küçük bir köyde büyüdüm. Kasaba. Town. Kasaba. Kasaba. Town. Kasabanın nüfusu 10 bin. The population of the town is 10,000. Kasabanın nüfusu 10 bin. Banyo. Suburb. Banyo. Banyo. Suburb. O şehirde çalışıyor ama Banyo'da yaşıyor. He works in the city, but he lives in the suburbs. O şehirde çalışıyor ama banyoda yaşıyor. Oda. Room. Oda. Oda. Room. Odam küçük. My room is small. Odam küçük. Yanık. Burn. Yanık. Yanık. 
Burn. O sol eline kaynar su döktü ve ikinci dereceden yanıkları var. She spilled boiling water on her left hand and has a second degree burn. O sol eline kaynar su döktü ve ikinci dereceden yanıkları var. Satranç. Chess. Satranç. Sat. Ranç. Chess. Satranç bir strateji ve konsantrasyon oyunudur. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. Satranç bir strateji ve konsantrasyon oyunudur. Dil. Language. Dil. Dil. Language. Korece resmi dildir. Korean is the official language. Korece resmi dildir. Kurutmak. Low dry. Kurutmak. Ku rut mak. Low dry. Sabah saçlarımı kuruturum. I blow dry my hair every morning. Sabah saçlarımı kuruturum. Dövüş sanatları. Martial arts. Dövüş sanatları. Dövüş sanatları. Martial arts. Bizim dövüş sanatları hocamız 25 yıldır çalışıyor. Our martial arts instructor has practiced for 25 years. Bizim dövüş sanatları hocamız 25 yıldır çalışıyor. Memnun. Satisfied. Memnun. Memnun. Satisfied. Adam memnun. The man is satisfied. Adam memnun. Sakin. Calm. Sakin. Sakin. Calm. Okyanus sakin. The ocean is calm. Okyanus sakin. Karamak. Kam, taramak, ta, ra, mak, kom. Köpeğimi her gün tararım. I comb my dog every day. Köpeğimi her gün tararım. Gargara yapmak. Gargle, gargara yapmak. Gargara yapmak. Gargle. Günde birkaç defa gargara yaparım. I gargle several times a day. Günde birkaç defa gargara yaparım. Memnuniyetsizlik. Dissatisfied. Memnuniyetsizlik. Memnuniyetsizlik. Dissatisfied. Adam üründen memnuniyetsiz. The man is dissatisfied with the product. Adam üründen memnuniyetsiz. Beş bin. Five thousand. Beş bin. Beş bin. 5000 Bu kitap birkaç gün içinde 5000 adet sattı. This book sold 5000 copies within a few days. Bu kitap birkaç gün içinde 5000 adet sattı. 3000 
three thousand. Üç bin. Üç bin. Three thousand. Peru'da üç binden fazla patates çeşidi var. In Peru, more than three thousand types of potatoes exist. Peru'da üç binden fazla patates çeşidi var. Altı bin. Six thousand. Altı bin. Altı bin. Six thousand. Yunanistan'da altı bin civarında ada var. There are around six thousand islands in Greece. Yunanistan'da altı bin civarında ada var. Yedi bin. Seven thousand. Yedi bin. Yedi bin. Seven thousand. Yedi bin albüm sattı. She sold seven thousand albums. Yedi bin albüm sattı. Dokuz bin. Nine thousand. Dokuz bin. Dokuz bin. Nine thousand. Ülkeden dokuz bin asker çekildi. 9,000 troops with the rule from the country. Ülkeden 9,000 asker çekildi. Gül. Rose. Gül. Gül. Rose. Bahçede 90 gül var. There are 9 roses in the garden. Bahçede 90 gül var. Çiçek. Flower. Çiçek. Çiçek. Flower. Oğlan sarı çiçekleri topluyor. The boy is picking yellow flowers. Oğlan Sarı çiçekleri topluyor. Zambak. Lily. Zambak. Zambak. Lily. Eve gelirken biraz zambak getirdi. She bought some lilies on her way home. Eve gelirken biraz zambak getirdi. Ay çiçeği. Sunflower. Ay çiçeği. Ay çiçeği. Sunflower. Tarla ay çiçeğiyle dolu. The field is full of sunflowers. Tarla ay çiçeğiyle dolu. Kara hindi bağ. Dandelion. Kara hindi bağ. Kara hindi bağ. Dandelion. Kara hindi bağ bazı yerlerde, çorbalarda ve salataların içinde yenir. Dandelions are eaten in soups and salads in some places. Kara hindi bağ bazı yerlerde, çorbalarda ve salataların içinde yenir. Seyahat. Traveling. Seyahat. Seyahat. Traveling. Adamın hobisi seyahat etmek. The man's hobby is traveling. Adamın hobisi seyahat etmek. Egzersiz yapmak. Exercising. Egzersiz yapmak. Egzersiz yapmak. Exercising. Kadın yerde egzersiz yapıyor. The woman is exercising on the floor. Kadın yerde 
Egzersiz yapıyor. Egzersiz. Workout. Egzersiz. Egzersiz. Workout. 30 dakikalık egzersiz sağlığınıza iyi gelir. A 30 minute workout every day can improve your health. 30 dakikalık egzersiz sağlığınıza iyi gelir. Okuma. Reading. Okuma. Okuma. Reading. Kitap okumayı sever misiniz? Do you like reading books? Kitap okumayı sever misiniz? Kart oyunu oynamak. Playing cards. Kart oyunu oynamak. Kart oyunu oynamak. Playing cards. Yıllık yaz akşamlarında genellikle kart oyunu oynarız. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. Yıllık yaz akşamlarında genellikle kart oyunu oynarız. Küpe. Earring. Küpe. Küpe. Earring. Annem elmas küpelerini takıyor. My mother is wearing her diamond earrings. Annem elmas küpelerini takıyor. Kolye. Necklace. Kolye. Kol. Ye. Necklace. Ben bir kolye taktım. I put on a necklace. Ben bir kolye taktım. Yüzük. Ring. Yüzük. Yüzük. Ring. Kadın yüzük parmağında pırlanta bir yüzük takıyor. The woman is putting a diamond ring on her ring finger. Kadın yüzük parmağında bir pırlanta yüzük takıyor. Boxer short. Boxer shorts. Boxer short. Boxer short. Boxer shorts. Boxer shortlar erkek için iç çamaşırdır ve birçok desen ve kumaşta çeşitli bulunur. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men which comes in many patterns and fabrics. Boxer shortlar erkek için iç çamaşırdır ve birçok desen ve kumaşta çeşitli bulunur. Etek Skirt Etek Etek Skirt. O sarı bir etek giyiyor. She's wearing a yellow skirt. O sarı bir etek giyiyor. Hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburger Amerika'da icat edilmiştir. Hamburgers were invented in America. Hamburger Amerika'da icat edilmiştir. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger bir dilim peynirli hamburgerdir. A cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese. Cheeseburger bir dilim peynirli hamburgerdir. Pizza. Pizza. Pizza. Pizza. Pizza. P 
pizza bir İtalyan yemeğidir ama dünya çapında ünlüdür. Pizza is an Italian dish but it's popular dish around the world. Pizza bir İtalyan yemeğidir ama dünya çapında ünlüdür. Sosisli sandviç. Hot dog. Sosisli sandviç. Sosisli sandviç. Hot dog. Ben sosisliyi mangalda severim. I prefer hot dogs at a barbecue. Ben sosisliyi mangalda severim. Bahşiş. Çip. Bahşiş. Bahşiş. Tip. Ben temizlik görevlisi için yastığın üzerine bahşiş bıraktım. I left a tip for the maid on the floor. Ben temizlik görevlisi için yastığın üzerine bahşiş bıraktım. Sel. Flood. Sel. Sel. Flood. Jeep selin içinde ilerlemeye çalışıyor. The jeep is pushing through the flood. Jeep selin içinde ilerlemeye çalışıyor. Tayfun. Tayfun. Tayfun. Tayfun. Tayfun. Tayfun vurdu. The typhoon has hit. Typhoon vurdu. Kasırga. Hurricane. Kasırga. Kasırga. Hurricane. Kasırga denizden esiyor. The hurricane is blowing in front of the sea. Kasırga denizden esiyor. Hortu. Tornado. Hortu. Hortu. Tornado. Hortu kırın karşısında dönüyor. The tornado is twisting across the prairie. Hortum kırın karşısında dönüyor. Kuraklık. Drop. Kuraklık. Kuraklık. Drop. Toprak kuraklık nedeniyle çatladı. The soil cracked due to the drop. Toprak kuraklık nedeniyle çatladı. İslam İslam İslam İslam İslam İslam inancı Peygamber Hazreti Muhammed tarafından kuruldu. İslam was founded by the Prophet Muhammed. İslam inancı Peygamber Hazreti Muhammed tarafından kuruldu. Protestanlık, Protestantizm, Protestanlık, Protestanlık, Protestantizm, Protestanlık Roma Katolik Kilisesinden bir kopuş olarak geldi. Protestantizm came as a break from the Roman Catholic Church. Protestanlık Roma Katolik Kilisesi'nden bir kopuş olarak geldi. Katoliklik Catholicism Katoliklik Katoliklik Catholicism Katoliklik, Papa'nın liderliğini kabul edenlerin dinidir. Catholicism is the religion of those who accept the leadership of the Pope. Katoliklik, 
Papa'nın liderliğini kabul edenlerin dinidir. Hinduizm Hinduizm Hinduizm Hinduizm Hinduizm Hinduizm Hindistan'dan gelir, reenkarnasyonu ve çok tanrıcılığı içerir. Hinduism from India involves the belief in reincarnation and many gods. Hinduism Hindistan'dan gelir, reenkarnasyonu ve çok tanrıcılığı içerir. Budizm Budizm Budizm Budizm Budizm Budizm aydınlanmış kişi Buda'nın öğretilerine dayanır. Budizm is based on the teachings of the Buddha, the enlightened one. Budizm aydınlanmış kişi Buda'nın öğretilerine dayanır. Ayak bileği Ankle Ayak bileği Ayak bileği Ankle Sanırım ayak bileğimi vurdum. I think I sprained my ankle. Sanırım ayak bileğimi vurdum. Dirsek Elbow Dirsek Dirsek Elbow Kol dirsekten tek bir yönde bükülür. The arm only bends one way at the elbow. Kol dirsekten tek bir yönde bükülür. El bileği Wrist El bileği El bileği Wrist Nabzı ölçecek temel yerler boyun ve bilektir. The most common places to take a pulse are the neck and the wrist. Nabzı ölçecek temel yerler boyun ve bilektir. Diz Knee Diz Diz Knee Çocuk düştü ve dizlerini yaraladı. The boy fell and scrapped his knees. Çocuk düştü ve dizlerini yaraladı. Cilt Skin Cilt Cilt Skin Cilt vücuttaki en geniş organdır. Skin is the largest organ in the body. Cilt vücuttaki en geniş organdır. Tıraş olmak. Shave. Tıraş olmak. Tıraş olmak. Shave. Adam tek kullanımlı tıraş bıçağı ile tıraş oluyor. The man is shaving his beard with a disposable razor. Adam tek kullanımlı tıraş bıçağı ile tıraş oluyor. Chef Chef Chef Chef Chef Chef bir yemek yapıyor. The chef is making a meal. Chef bir yemek yapıyor. Sigara içilmeyen bölüm. Non-smoking. Sigara içilmeyen bölüm. Sigara içilmeyen bölüm. Non-smoking. Sigara içme yasağı geldiğinden beri sigara içilmeyen bölümler tüm ülkeye yayıldı. Since the non-smoking law was established, non-smoking areas have spread around the country. 
sigara içme yasağı geldiğinden beri sigara içilmeyen bölümler tüm ülkeye yayıldı. Sigara içilen bölüm. Smoking. Sigara içilen bölüm. Sigara içilen bölüm. Smoking. Bu tabelada sigara içilen bölüm yazıyor. Ama zaten bu dumandan da anlaşılabiliyor. The sign reads smoking area, but you could tell from the smoke. Bu tabelada sigara içilen bölüm yazıyor. Ama zaten bu dumandan da anlaşılabiliyor. Kan. Blood. Kan. Kan. Blood. Kan testi onun kanındaki alkol oranının çok yüksek olduğunu gösterdi. The blood test found that his blood alcohol level was very high. Kan testi onun kanındaki alkol oranının çok yüksek olduğunu gösterdi. Kırmak. Break. Kırmak. Kır. Mak. Break. Bulaşıkları yıkarken tabaklardan birini kırdım. I broke one of the plates while washing the dishes. Bulaşıkları yıkarken tabaklardan birini kırdım. Kesik. Cut. Kesik. Kesik. Kat. Çocuk düştü ve bacağında derin bir kesik oldu. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. Çocuk düştü ve bacağında derin bir kesik oldu. Burkmak. Sprain. Burkmak. Burk, mak, sprain. Atlet bileğini burktu. The athlete sprained his ankle. Atlet bileğini burktu. Mikrodalga fırın. Microwave oven. Mikrodalga fırın. Mikrodalga fırın. Microwave oven. En kullanışlı mutfak eşyası mikrodalga fırındır. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. En kullanışlı mutfak eşyası mikrodalga fırındır. Buzdolabı. Refrigerator. Buzdolabı. Buzdolabı. Refrigerator. Aç adam yemek için buzdolabına bakıyor. The hungry man is looking for food in the refrigerator. Aç adam yemek için buzdolabına bakıyor. Elektrik süpürgesi. Vacuum cleaner. Elektrik süpürgesi. Elektrik süpürgesi. Vacuum cleaner. Bu elektrik süpürgesi çok sessiz. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. Bu elektrik süpürgesi çok sessiz. Terlemek. Sweat. Terlemek. Terlemek. Sweat. Baharatlı yemekler yediğim zaman yüzüm terler. My face sweats when I eat very spicy foods. Baharatlı yemekler yediğim zaman yüzüm terler. Giriş zamanı. Check-in. Giriş zamanı. Giriş zamanı. Check-in. Giriş zamanı ne zaman? 
What time is check-in? Giriş zamanı ne zaman? Oda numarası. Room number. Oda numarası. Oda numarası. Room number. Oda numaranız 514. Your room number is 514. Oda numaranız 514. Oda anahtarı. Room key. Oda anahtarı. Oda anahtarı. Room key. Oda anahtarımı kaybettim. I lost my room key. Oda anahtarımı kaybettim. Uyandırma çağrısı. Wake up call. Uyandırma çağrısı. Uyandırma çağrısı. Wake up call. Merhaba, sabah altı, sabah altı içerek kalı uyandırma çağrısı almak istiyorum. Hi, I would like a wake up call at 15 minutes to 6 in the morning. Merhaba, sabah altı içerek kalı uyandırma çağrısı almak istiyorum. Çıkış yapma. Check out. Çıkış yapma. Çıkış yapma. Check out. Lütfen sabah ondan önce çıkın. Please check out before 10 a.m. Lütfen sabah ondan önce çıkın. Açık. Light. Açık. A çık. Light. Açık renkler sana çok yakışıyor. Light colors really suit you well. Açık renkler sana çok yakışıyor. Altın rengi. Gold. Altın rengi. Altın rengi. Gold. Ben altın rengi bir cüzdan istiyorum. I want a gold colored purse. Ben altın rengi bir cüzdan istiyorum. Pembe. Pink. Pembe. Pembe. Pink. Bir çilekli pastanın üstündeki pembe şekerlemeler benim favorimdir. The pink frosting on a strawberry cake is my favorite. Bir çilekli pastanın üstündeki pembe şekerlemeler benim favorimdir. Gümüş rengi. Silver. Gümüş rengi. Gümüş rengi. Silver. Gümüş rengi kalem pahalı görünüyor. The silver colored pen looks expensive. Gümüş rengi kalem pahalı görünüyor. Beige. Beige. Beige. Beige. Beige. Beige, açık krem renginde sarı tonlarında bir renktir. Beige is a pale cream color with a yellowish tint. Beige, açık krem renginde sarı tonlarında bir renktir. Ahu dudu. Rosberry. Ahu dudu. Ahu dudu. Rosberry. Bazen ahu dudular da kurt olur. There are sometimes worms in raspberries. Bazen ahu dudular da kurt olur. Öksürmek. Kaf. Öksürmek. Öksürmek. Kaf. Tüm gün boyunca öksürdü. 
She has been coughing all night. Tüm gün boyunca öksürdü. Sarımsak. Garlic. Sarımsak. Sarımsak. Garlic. Bundan sonra bir buluşmam var. O yüzden sarımsak yemek istemiyorum. I have a date after this, so I don't want to eat garlic. Bundan sonra bir buluşmam var. O yüzden sarımsak yemek istemiyorum. Weak. Mustache. Weak. Bu yık. Mustache. Bu güzel görünüyor. Your mustache looks good. Bu güzel görünüyor. Çamaşır makinesi. Washing machine. Çamaşır makinesi. Çamaşır makinesi. Washing machine. Ben giysilerimi temiz tutmak için çamaşır makinesi kullanırım. I use the washing machine to keep my clothes clean. Ben giysilerimi temiz tutmak için Çamaşır makinesi kullanırım. DVD oynatıcı. DVD player. DVD oynatıcı. DVD oynatıcı. DVD player. Biz her çarşamba akşamı DVD, DVD oynatıcıyla film izleriz. We watch movies on DVD player every Wednesday night. Biz her çarşamba akşamı DVD oynatıcıyla film izleriz. Fun. Fun. Fun. Fun. Fun. Fanı açtığımda tüm kağıtlarım odaya uçtu. When I turned on the fan, my papers flew all over the room. Fanı açtığımda tüm kağıtlarım odaya uçtu. Klima. Air conditioner. Klima. Klima. Air conditioner. Dış klimalar oldukça ucuz. External air conditioners are quite cheap. Dış klimalar oldukça ucuz. Ocak. Stow. Ocak. O, Jack, Stow, Çaydanlık ocağın üstünde. The kettle is on the stove. Çaydanlık ocağın üstünde. İlkokul. Elementary school. İlk okul. İlk okul. Elementary school. Biz küçükken aynı ilk okula gittik. We went to the same elementary school when we were little. Biz küçükken 
Aynı ilkokula gittik. Ortaokul. Middle school. Orta okul. Orta okul. Middle school. Benim 12 yaşındaki erkek kardeşim ortaokula gidiyor. My 12 year old brother goes to middle school. Benim 12 yaşındaki erkek kardeşim ortaokula gidiyor. Lise. High school. Lise. Li se High school Ben lisedeyken okul takımı için futbol oynuyordum. When I was in high school, I played soccer for a school team. Ben lisedeyken okul takımı için futbol oynuyordum. Üniversite University. Üniversite. Üniversite. University. O ünlü bir üniversiteden tam burs kazandı. He received a full scholarship from a famous university. O ünlü bir üniversiteden tam burs kazandı. Müdür. Principal. Müdür. Müdür. Principal. Benim büyük babam bir müdürdü. My grandfather used to be a principal. Benim büyük babam bir müdürdü. Parlak. Bright. Parlak. Parlak. Bright. Parlak renkli bir tişört giyiyor. She wore a bright uh, colored t-shirt. Parlak renkli bir tişört giyiyor. This is to be easier. Laptop computer. This is to be easier. This üstü. Bilgi sayar. Laptop computer. Yeni bir dizüstü bilgisayar aldım. I bought a new laptop computer. Yeni bir dizüstü bilgisayar aldım. Fare. Mouse. Fare. Fa. Re. Mouse. Siyah fare, mavi fare pedinin üzerinde. The black mouse is on the blue mouse bed. Siyah fare, mavi fare pedinin üzerinde. Hoparlör, speaker, hoparlör, hoparlör, speaker. Sağdaki hoparlörde kontrol düğmeleri var. The right speaker has the controls. Sağdaki hoparlörde 
kontrol düğmeleri var. Bilgisayar kamerası. Webcam. Bilgisayar kamerası. Bilgi, sayar, kamerası. Webcam. Kadın video konferansı için bir bilgisayar kamerası kullanıyor. The woman is using a webcam to video conference. Kadın video konferansı için bir bilgisayar kamerası kullanıyor. Mikrofon. Mikrofon. Mikrofon. Mik. Ro. Fon. Mikrofon. Bana mikrofonu ver. Give me the microphone. Bana mikrofonu ver. Masaüstü bilgisayar. Desktop computer. Masaüstü bilgisayar. Masa üstü bilgi sayar. Desktop computer. Benim masaüstü bilgisayarım var. I have a desktop computer. Benim masaüstü bilgisayarım var. Acı biber. Chili pepper. Acı biber. Acı biber. Chili pepper. Ben acı biber sevmem. I don't like chili peppers. Ben acı biber sevmem. Mısır. Corn. Mısır. Mısır. Corn. Benim favori sebzem mısır poçanındaki mısır. My favorite vegetables is corn on the cob. Benim favori sebzem mısır poçanındaki mısır. Tek kişilik yatak. Single bed. Tek kişilik yatak. Tek kişilik yatak. Single bed. Odada tek kişilik yatak var. The room came with a single bed. Odada tek kişilik yatak var. Çift kişilik yatak. Double bed. Çift kişilik yatak. Çift kişilik yatak. Double bed. Çift kişilik yatak oldukça geniş. The double bed is very spacious. Çift kişilik yatak oldukça geniş. Otel. Otel. Otel. O tel. Otel. Otelin 600 odası, bir restoranı ve bir yüzme havuzu var. The hotel had 600 rooms, a restaurant and swimming pool. Otelin 600 odası bir restoranı ve bir yüzme havuzu var. Resepsiyon. 
front desk. Reception. Reception. Front desk. Biz resepsiyondan giriş ve çıkış yap. We checked in and out at the front desk. Biz resepsiyondan giriş ve çıkış yaptık. Pacific Okyanusu. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Okyanusu. Pacific Okyanusu. Pacific Ocean. Okyanusa Pasifik Okyanusu'nun güney batı ve orta kısmındaki birçok adaya verilen isimdir. Oceania refers to many islands in the southern, western and central parts of the Pacific Ocean. Okyanusya, Pasifik Okyanusu'nun güney batı ve orta kısımlarındaki birçok adaya verilen isimdir. Atlantik Okyanusu Atlantik Ocean Atlantik Okyanusu Atlantik Okyanusu Atlantik Ocean Dünyanın en büyük sıra dağları aslında Atlantik Okyanusu'nun ortasında. The world's largest mountain range is actually in the middle of Atlantic Ocean. Dünyanın en büyük sıra dağları aslında Atlantik Okyanusu'nun ortasında. Hint Okyanusu. Indian Ocean. Hint Okyanusu. Hint Okyanusu. Indian Ocean. Güney Afrika'nın doğusunda Hint Okyanusu ve batısında da Atlantik Okyanusu vardır. To the east of the South Africa is the Indian Ocean and to the west is the Atlantic Ocean. Güney Afrika'nın doğusunda Hint Okyanusu ve batısında Atlantik Okyanusu vardır. Australia. Australia. Australia. A Australia. Australia. Australia yeryüzündeki tek ada kıtasıdır. Australia is the only island continent on earth. Australia yeryüzündeki tek ada kıtasıdır. Antarktika Antarktika Antarktika Antarktika Antarktika Antarktika kıtasını güney kutlu çevreler. The continent of Antarctica surrounds the South Pole. Antarktika kıtasını güney kutlu çevreler. Asya. Asia. Asya. Asya. Asia. Asya dünyanın yedi kıtasından en büyüdür. Asia is the largest of the Earth's seven continents. Asya dünyanın yedi kıtasından en büyüdür. Afrika. Afrika. Afrika. Afrika. Afrika. Afrika dünyanın en büyük 
ikinci kıtasıdır ve geniş doğal kaynaklara sahiptir. Afrika, Earth's second biggest continent, has vast natural resources. Afrika, dünyanın en büyük ikinci kıtasıdır ve geniş doğal kaynaklara sahiptir. Avrupa, Europe. Avrupa Avrupa Europe Alp dağları Avrupa'da yer almaktadır. The Alps mountain range is located in Europe. Alp dağları Avrupa'da yer almaktadır. Kuzey Amerika North America Kuzey Amerika Kuzey Amerika North America Kuzey Amerika Kuzey Kutbundan Karayip Denizi'ne kadar ulaşır. North America reaches from the Arctic to the Caribbean Sea. Kuzey Amerika, Kuzey Kutbundan Karayip Denizi'ne kadar ulaşır. Güney Amerika South Amerika Güney Amerika Güney Amerika South Amerika Güney Amerika kıtasında 12 ülke vardır. There are 12 countries on the continent of South America. Güney Amerika kıtasında 12 ülke vardır. Çivit mavisi. Indigo. Çivit mavisi. Çivit mavisi Indigo Çivit mavisi ismini Indigo isimli bir bitkiden alır. Indigo gets its name from the plant named Indigo. Çivit mavisi ismini Indigo isimli bir bitkiden alır. Şeftali rengi Peach Şeftali rengi Şeftali rengi Peach Araba şeftali rengidir. The car is a peach color. Araba şeftali rengidir. Koyu dark Koyu Koyu dark Çocuğun siyah saçları ve koyu gözleri var. The boy has black hair and dark eyes. Çocuğun siyah saçları ve koyu gözleri var. Sinir bozucu. Annoying. Sinir bozucu. Sinir bozucu. Annoying. Sürekli haklı olman çok sinir bozucu. It's very annoying when you're right all the time. Sürekli haklı olman çok sinir bozucu. Gövde. Torso. Gövde. Gövde. 
Çağırsa. Gövde, kolları, ayakları ve kafayı birbirine bağlayan vücudun üst kısmıdır. The torso is the upper part of the body which attaches to arms, legs and head. Gövde, kolları, ayakları ve kafayı birbirine bağlayan vücudun üst kısmıdır. Göz, breast, göz, göz, breast, göz ağrısı kanserin semptomlarından biridir. Breast pain can be a symptom of cancer. Göz ağrısı kanserin semptomlarından biridir. Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system. But you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you learn on a commute or a 10-minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. And that only takes a minute, or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool, because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the Word of the Day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free Word of the Day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select play slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account.
Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system. But you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you learn on a commute or a 10 minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. And that only takes a minute, or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool, because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the Word of the Day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free Word of the Day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select play slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Ever listen to a song on repeat until the lyrics get stuck in your head? Well, you can do just that with language learning. Listening to your target language on repeat is a guaranteed way to get the language stuck in your head. Just imagine, you hit play and sit back and listen to the most common words and phrases on loop until they're stuck in your head without having to do much else. Does this work? And how can you do this? Stick around. How to review words on repeat and learn fast with this study tool. In this guide, you'll discover one, a special free study tool that does the repetition for you, two, how to get words and phrases stuck in your head, and three, how to practice speaking in your target language. 
But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, how can you start listening to your target language on repeat? If you're learning with our system, then you already have access to something called the Vocabulary Slideshow, which helps you do just that. And picture this, you could be walking to the store, going to work, or lying on the couch, listening to words and phrases on repeat with the Vocabulary Slideshow. There are no ads to interrupt you like you have on YouTube. And you come out knowing and speaking more of your target language without doing much work. And this approach works because it's repetition, a powerful way to learn almost anything. Except the Vocabulary Slideshow does all the repetition for you. And you'll find the Vocabulary Slideshow inside our free vocabulary lists and in our audio lessons. So if you visit a vocabulary list, look for the Slideshow button at the top. And if you're on a lesson, scroll down to the vocabulary section and click Slideshow. Second, how can you listen to your target language on repeat with this? First, pick a free vocabulary or phrase list. You'll get hundreds of lists based on common topics like asking and answering, how are you? Winter vocabulary, talking about your day, and more. Just pick a list of phrases you want to learn. When you open the list and click on the Slideshow button, make sure to check the Loop Playback option. You can also exclude the translation audio so you can listen to just your target language and then start the Slideshow and it'll play on repeat. If you want to practice speaking and shadowing the words, make sure the Slideshow is set to slow so you get plenty of time in between words. Otherwise, if you set it to fast, there won't be much time in between, which is also good if you just want to drill the words until they're stuck in your head. So, if you want to get access to this learning tool and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. If you want to learn more words so you can speak and understand even more of your target language, there is a super simple way to do this. In fact, it's so simple that most people don't even think of it because it doesn't involve language apps, YouTube videos, or your computer. I'm talking about writing things out by hand. How to learn words and phrases by writing them out. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, why writing words out helps you pick up languages faster, two, how to use our free PDF workbooks to practice writing, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. You probably already know that one of the best ways to master a language is through actually using it and practicing it. And that's where writing things out comes in, because you're using the language when you write it down. And on top of that, the physical act of writing helps your brain remember the words much better than seeing them on screen or typing them out. Now, handwriting may feel slow, but by taking it slow, you actually speed up your learning and master the language faster because you engage more of your brain in the process. So, how can you do this? You can apply this trick to any resource that you're using right now by simply copying out the words and phrases that you come across. The more you write them out, the better they'll stick. With our learning system, you can... 1. Practice with our free PDF writing workbooks and worksheets. All members get free access to our PDF writing workbooks and worksheets, which are based on common topics like the alphabet, common nouns, adjectives, greetings, and much more. Inside, you learn the most common words and phrases for that topic, and you get plenty of space to practice writing the words out. And in the last section of the workbook, you'll get tested on the words. You'll see the translations of the words, so you'll have to try and remember the meaning in the target language and write it in. Two. Practice writing with the free word of the day emails. 
Every day, we send you a new word to your email inbox. You get the audio pronunciation, sample sentence, and a picture to help it stick. But you can also just as easily write that word down and do that daily every time the emails come in. And now you have a simple language routine going that you can stick with. Now, if you want to learn a little more than just words, you can. Three, practice writing out the conversations from our lessons. So, if you want to master entire conversations in your target language, you can also copy out the conversations from our audio and video lessons by hand. And this will help you master words, phrases, and grammar rules all at once since you're not just writing out words, but actual lines. Just scroll down to the dialogue section of a lesson to see the conversation. So if you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Learning to speak at a basic level in your target language isn't hard at all. In fact, you could cheat your way into speaking, and you could do this in just a few minutes a day, anywhere, anytime. How? How to learn conversations on the go with Conversation Cheat Sheets. Stick around. In this quick guide, you'll discover, one, a free cheat way to start speaking in your target language, two, how to pick up practical conversations anywhere, anytime, and more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, one, how can you learn to speak the basics of your target language? With our conversation cheat sheets, you can basically cheat and start speaking today. You learn a basic practical conversation in every cheat sheet, plus additional words, so you can plug in and create your own sentences. All you have to do is quickly review the cheat sheet for a minute or two, read the phrases out loud, and that's it. Second, how to pick up practical conversations anywhere, anytime. You get over 30 such conversation cheat sheets on our website, all covering practical topics such as numbers, talking on the phone, greetings and survival phrases, and more. And the best part is, you can download these cheat sheets as PDFs and keep them forever. Save them to your phone or even print them out and quickly review them anywhere. So if you're out on the go and want to learn a bit of language for a few minutes, you can quickly glance through the cheat sheets on your phone. If you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.